Omni Creative Filter Photography Course with Caroline Tran. Take one. <laughs> Now that you have an understanding of how these three wands work, let's talk about how you can go beyond just the basics because the possibilities are really endless here. For one, you can actually combine any of these wands. You can combine all three wands if you want it. That's why there are four magnet dots on here. So you can put one here, you can put another one on here, and you can put another one on here. If you really wanted to, you can shoot with all three, right? So I wanna show you some of the fun combinations that I like to use these with. So here, I combined the rainbow filter with the seahorse. What I was able to create with that was this beautiful photo here. The rainbow filter was able to capture this gorgeous rainbow here, while the crystal seahorse was able to create these beautiful reflections of my surroundings into the photo. So it looks like a really abstract portrait without distracting from my main focus. This was like from a dandelion that my son had just blown and there was one little seed left. I was like, wait, 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 don't blow it. I want that photo. And so I had him save me that one dandelion, like little, seed i think it's a seed right to get the picture and so i was able to hold it there was backlight coming in because that's why you see all the pretty bokeh in the background the rainbow filter was able to turn the the light into a rainbow and then the seahorse was then able to create these really beautiful abstract blurred effects on the side this looks like a possibly a duplicate of this but that's the fun thing about these reflections. And they're, they're abstract, but yet this is tack sharp in focus. And again, that has to do with your positioning. So for me, I kept the rainbow up on the top and I kept the seahorse also just on this top. So that way this was left wide open and clear so that the dandelion itself was not affected. This is another cool effect that I was able to create. This was created with my 35 millimeter lens, so I was able to get really close up to these pine needles here, and I just love how abstract it is. This image here was created with a combination of the stretch glass and the rainbow film. The rainbow film obviously was able to create this little bit of uh, rainbowy light streak up here, while the stretch glass created these reflections here. Because I was super close to it, the flat side of the glass was able to capture the reflection of the needles coming in and bouncing back into this lens right here. So that's why you're able to see like lots of extra little needles that were able to be picked up by the stretch glass. Another effect that you'll want to know about in order to expand your possibilities is the extension arms. Sometimes this can be a little bit restricting. Maybe you wanted it just a little bit over here or a little bit out here and that's the extent that you can put this, right? So the extension arm here allows you to be able to move your wand out a little bit further. So now, with it like this, you can now have just a little bit peeking in. Like, so for example, if you don't want too much of it to come in, you can have it do that. Or in this case here, what I was able to do is because I was shooting landscape and it was front lit, like I was explaining in a previous video, there was really not much to reflect. Like the floor, was pretty much the only thing I was able to reflect and I did do that shot I showed you earlier when I was able to use this to capture the reflection of the floor coming up on the flat part of it back into the photo, right? Um, but there were no clouds in the sky and there's not, not much else to reflect. So what I was able to do here is attach this onto an arm and by attaching this on an arm, I'm able to get this, I have a much wider range of motion now. So you can see there's much more options for me in terms of where I want this to reflect light from. And like I mentioned earlier, 
because it was front lit, meaning the sun is coming from behind me towards the mountain, if I had it right up on here, this is entirely in the shade. Do you see? So right now I have a light beam coming here. I don't know if you're able to, to see that or not, but so, you know, I'm casting a shadow on here. The lens is casting a shadow on here, right? So there's no light that's able to hit this, thus limiting the effects you're going to be able to create. But by adding an arm to this, I can now put it way out here. And now the light can actually, won't just fall here, but can actually reach to here now and reflect back in here. And that's how I was able to create this shot right here. So you can see it kind of looks like water to me, but that's simply the effect of the light coming in, hitting this piece here and bouncing it back into the lens like that. Another cool effect that I was able to create using this extension arm here is using the rainbow film. See, like I mentioned here, the rainbow film it has to see light in order to create a rainbow, right? If there's no light shining on here, it's essentially just a clear see-through piece of plastic film. It's really light reflecting off of it that is able to create more of a rainbowy effect, right? And so, and you're probably not gonna really, oh, there we go, look. So you see right now I'm catching some light reflections on here and that's why you're able to see some light um, some of the rainbow. It's the same thing on here. If I had this kissing the lens like this and my light source is coming from behind me, which was in this photo, that's what was happening. There's no light hitting the film. Therefore, no rainbow. There's no rainbow that's being caused by it. So if I want the rainbow effect, I'm going to have to put it on an arm. So now it's extended out just far enough so that it can possibly catch the light that's coming here rather than being buried in the shadow. Rather than being buried in the shadow of the lens, it can be out here and now it can capture more light coming in and bouncing it back into your lens, bouncing that beautiful rainbow back into your lens. So this arm here is a great way to expand the possibilities and especially in situations where you need the arm to find the light. If the light is not reaching your film or your wand, then the arm helps you, gives you a little bit more reach to come out and grab that light to bring it back in. This was the exact setup that I did that day. You can see I had the arm coming out, the film sticking out far enough so that when the light came in, it was able to bounce off that film and back into my photo. I'm so excited for you guys to go out and try all of these different techniques. You have so much to work with at this point. You have the rainbow film, you have the stretch glass and the crystal seahorses, right? Just in a quick summary, if you're looking to create rainbows, this is your guy right here. Use this to create rainbow streaks. It can create rainbows from an external light source or a light source that's within your frame. Make sure that the rainbow is going to be on darker areas of the photo. So if you notice all of my photos that were able to create rainbow effects with, they were all in darker areas, not blown out highlights like all white like this, right? So make sure that you are mindful of where you are letting your rainbow land. Your stretch glass is great for either capturing reflections or streaks of light or stretching out your images. The key thing to note with this is I love it for capturing reflections off of the flat side. Just like what I said about the rainbow, if your background is blown out or if any area is already blown out, it's not going to be able to absorb any more information. So you're going to want to make sure that there's room to still record information. So like I said, sometimes I'll use my hand to just give it a little bit more darkness so that there's room to see the actual reflection. You can create cool double exposure looking images with this fun piece here. And definitely last but not least, your crystal seahorse. Use your crystal seahorse to create fun reflections. It can capture flare, it can capture rainbows, it can capture fun reflections as well and blur. So use it 
on the side if you want just a little bit of reflection and you can still have one thing in focus while creating a lot of blur all around it. So as you can see with the three wands that you are now equipped with, the possibilities are endless. I cannot wait to see all of the artistic flair you're gonna be adding to your photos. Please share it with us so we can see too.